Okay, here's how it happened. We moved into a new house, and I know this sounds weird, but I found a secret passage under my bed. And there was another world down there called Under. And I am king of the whole crazy place. That's Loopy and Bernie. They help me run my kingdom, sort of. My dog Gus, he can talk in Under. That's popular. She's neat. Cliff, he used to be king. Auntie First and Bob Wire, the bad guys. Always trying to invade Under or steal my crown. You wouldn't believe the stuff that happens down here. Or maybe you would. Okay, Mrs. Kirk, get ready. And now, no wait, just a sec. It's not yet. I'll take care of this, Thank Russell. Uh. Hey, she's my good deed for the day, Cliff. <laughs> hey, Gus, in the mood for some good deed doing down and under? Cliff just doesn't get it. Helping people isn't a competitive sport. But you know, it's not a bad idea. Gee, imagine Cliff making the world a better place. Hi guys, I'm here to do my daily good deed. Great, grab a brush and give us a hand. Now, something fun. I know. Let's help the vendor get rid of some wriggly pies, eh? Remember, Remember near under rights, Despot Day, day comes but once a week, so show your affection for Auntie first. Gifts are mandatory. Oh, poo? Uh, someone sent you a bag of poo, Mum. No, vomit. <laughs> hey! Nobody appreciates the effort I put into tyranny. Oh, Why can't oh. I get a nice Despot Day gift? Look! A fresh new towel from me. No, oh, it doesn't count coming from you, Captain Darling. I want flowers from an unknown admirer. Uh, but, Mom, there aren't any florists in near under. You banned them after the poison ivy corsage incident. <gasps> Arrives, I'll be out debasing peasants. Flob installation, flop removal, flummery, florists. Ah, Figgy's florist, 10 Swap Street, under. One unknown admirer coming up. Join your sucky gopher scouts qualifies as cruel and unusual punishment. Sentenced to a thousand hours of community service. Huh? For what? A bit of high spirited fun on our day off? A good gopher scout doesn't whine. Now, we're here on a mission of good deaneries to do, so stay sharp. <laughs> hey, look! There's the auntie. Let's help her request a street. <laughs> Go! I don't want to cross the street! Auntie's going across that stinking street whether she likes it or not! Wait! I've got an idea for a giga great good deed! We'll end Floronia's never-ending thussle tussle Okay! But as soon as we're done, Auntie's crossing that street. <laughs> oh, I think I have room for one more good deed. Got sloppy buttocks? Turn him taut with Bob's bulkiness builder. Hey, Gus. Bob's up to something. Bet it's a job for a gopher scout. Unperky pecs? Oh, this puppy pumps him up. Look at that here. 28 pound schmear. Phlegm problems. No luck in the love department. Passed over for promotion six times. Yeah. But after one hour on Bob's bulkiness builder. Oh, yeah. Ooh, hoo, hoo, indeed, huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? You can't afford not to sign over everything you own for this marvel of masculationism. Who's buying? Oh, yeah. Cha 
talk about fake. And people actually believe him. Well, he gives a good pitch. Hey, what's the idea, Schmed? I'm just getting ready to close some deals here. If that thing's so super duper, let's see you use it, Bob. <gasps> sure, fine. I got nothing to hide. This here's a quality item. Ouch! Oh, oh, yeah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, 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 don't go away! How about I throw in a set of steak knives at us here? <laughs> One good deed done for the people of under. No! No! Frags! Yo, frags! Oh, jeez! Give them a day off and they take it! We've been thinking, Luffy. Stopping this here tussle tussle seems a tad ambitious. Or a good deed. Yeah, couldn't we just like uh like uh num 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 who not trip somebody or something? Nope! The Floronians have been fighting over the last tussle forever, and it ends today! So you frags charge the yellow Floronians and make them quit it. And I'll take on the red Floronians. Um, how's about we just snag the tussle and then they won't have nothing to fight over? Uh, huh, you know, that's just not enough to work. Boy, you guys have the makings of great gopher scouts. No need to get insulting, like. This don't look good! Oh, hey, Luffy, I don't think these Joes appreciates our efforts at peacemaking. <laughs> sure they do! <laughs> would be more in touch with the sensitive sides. Maybe we ought to give them back the tussle and let them get back to scrapping over it, huh? Nope. A good deed half done is just the same as none. The Gopher Scout handbook's pretty firm on that. <gasps> hey, we can stash it in the boss's joint. Lousy Schmed Russell putting the crimp of my action. Too gross of these things I got. <laughs> oh! Boss! Boss! Mm. We're on the land! We gotta stash a tussle with ya! Oh, whatever. Hey, how come you frags is dressed like putzes? We's go for scouts. It's the look. Whoa, here they come! Something going down I ought to know about here? A bunch of plant guys wants to compost us on account of a good deed we done. Yeah, that'll teach you. Wait a sec. Tussle? The last tussle in under? Them veggie smeds been nuts over this thing forever. I believes I has got me an asset I can capitalize on. Hey! Pedal heads! You guys looking for your tussle? Check with the King of Onda. He's got it. <laughs> that ought to stick a little thorn in Russell's shorts. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I've done my gopher scout duty for the day. We're heading up, guys. Sure y'all don't want to join in? We're having loads of fun painting and all. Watch it, Russell. She's trying the Tom Sawyer gambit. <laughs> sire! Oh, ever so sire, save us! We've done a good deed, and it ain't working out! Ah! Exactly what sort of good deed did you commit here? Oh, do 
something clever, sire, before I feel responsible for all this. You are responsible, Loopy. Am not. Or do. Not, do, not, do, not do, me. Do. Quit it. Where's this thustle you took from? The boss is holding it in escrow for us. Bob's got it. Oh, well, that should improve the situation. Why are they doing this to us? What have we done to offend the vegetables? Look, Pally, ain't got no time for philosophical inquiry here. I'm trying to stash this here tussle. Hmm? Perfect. Figgy's florist. Who'd look for a plant in a plant store? <laughs> I've got a dreadful urge to mark my territory on these lads. Don't. I don't know what they're saying, but they sure smell great. I'll handle it, sire. I survived an immersion course in conversational flower. <laughs> Here goes. They want their thustle back. I told them we don't have it, but I suspect they suspect we're fibbing. <laughs> well, I see. <laughs> they suggest you stink off and mind your own beeswax. <laughs> to plants. They look thirsty. <laughs> no luck lifting the siege, I reckon. Nope. We'll have to hold them off until I figure out what to do. Issue royal garden shears to everybody. This is the only pair we got. Budget cut, sire. However, here's hoping my multi-replicator functions as per specs. <laughs> People. Caught in a bit of a botanical imbroglio, ain't you, Schmidt? Maybe. Them seed heads ain't gonna quit till they gets back their thustle. And I happens to know where it's at. Good for you. So, give me the crown, I give you the thustle. Deal? Forget it, Bob. This is all our fault. Hey, boy! We say wonder does it count for community service? Absolutely, yes. Beauty! All we gotta do is zoom the boss out of the fossil and we can dump these stupid uniforms. What's wrong with the uniforms? I like the uniforms. You would. I need something in a despot day arrangement for Auntie First. Zoom's a fussel! Oh, this will do nicely, Mr. Figgy. Deliver it to Auntie First, car to read. You're a dandy despot from a secret admirer. All right, Figgy, fess up. What'd you do with my thustle? Andy, first, near under. You, Pally, are deliberately complicating things, ain't ya? Hey, the thustle's on the hustle. Come on. Oh. Well, we're taking a pounding from these pesky perennials, sire. I know, I know. I guess I have to make a deal with Bob whether I like it or not. Okay, Bob, give me the thustle. You get the crown. 
Your diamond stinks, Schmidt. But keep that offer open. I'll be right back. Great. Under survival depends on Bob Wire. So we're doomed then. That'd be my guess. <laughs> Craziness because of one crummy thussel? What makes it worth fighting over anyway? Precisely because there is only one thussel, sire. Yeah, this wouldn't be happening if there was a million thussels out there. So make a million. Use Vernon's multi-replicator. Flood the market. Basic macroeconomics. Gus, that's brilliant. And if we had the thussel, it might actually work. Oh, a thussel? For me? And special! Much like your one-of-a-kind self, Mum. <clears throat> Darling, show him the door. You're a dandy despot <gasps> from a secret admirer. <laughs> oh, I bet it's from that dishy Mr. Queep. Okay, here's the plan. We bust in there, snag the thistle, and make off like bandits. But Auntie didn't steal it. She thinks it's a gift from Dishy Mr. Queep. It would break her heart. Yeah, I can live with that. Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. That's not go for Scout Nice. I get much more of this sugar plum hooey. My teeth are gonna fall out. <laughs> Never expect a tip from Auntie first. And consider that your tip. Good day. You sent my thistle plant to Auntie Feist. I want it back. Out of the question, Bob. Best despot day gift she's ever got. She's all a grin about it. So, if I was to, say, snag it back off of her, she'd uh, degalvanize you and use you for a pipe cleaner. For starters. Gotcha. Thanks for the input there, Belly. Great shot, No reason to panic. <gasps> oh. Read me the note again, darling. You're a dandy despot from a secret admirer. Hey, Andy. Happy despot day. For me? Time to. Oh! <laughs> oh. Oh. And away he fled. <laughs> <laughs> hey! The boss liberated the tussle! Any moral issues vis-a-vis -vis copping the tussle off of the boss? Well, he was supposed to look after it for us in the first place, so go for scoutly speaking, no. <laughs> I say, Mum, Bob Wire's absconded with your beloved tussle. Oh, pish posh on the tussle! Look at all this other lovely loot! <laughs> Sludge. Swamp leech. <gasps> A poison ivy corsage. Now I know who sent me the first one. I'll degalvanize Bob Wire and use him for a pipe cleaner. I warned him. <laughs> Okay, guys, do your thing! Okay, so. Mona? Lousy backstabbing bums! You can kiss your performance bonus, bye bye! Oh. Where's my vessel? Giddy up, Hester. <laughs> we ain't giving up yet. Okay, I've got a plan. We got the Thistle Sire! Cool. That plan came together fast. Fire up the multi replicator, Vernon. <laughs> Home, darling! 
Oh, good. I see you got the thustle as I uh, uh, arranged it. So give me the crown as per agreement. Passive. Mm -hmm. huh? oh, oh, ah, sweet little body. Oh, I've had my chlorophyll in it. There you go. Everybody got a thustle, so there's no reason for a tussle. Am I right? Yeah. Well, Frags, that's about the goodest deed anybody did today for sure. Yeah, whatever. And that does it for our community service, right, Boyne? We can get out of these go for glad rags, right? Absolutely. You're free frags now. <laughs> Gee, I, I thought we could go on a camp out, you know? Marshmallows, fire roasted groats, singling. Frags! Yeah. Where you schmids at? I could have been the king here. Come here and I'll fustigate you. Uh, camp out sounds beauty. <laughs> uh, 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 couple wings, suit ya. <laughs> That's one heap of salad we got to get rid of. Yes, we'll need a fair-sized compost bin. You know what the Gopher Scout manual says. A job well done is a job begun. You realize that makes no sense at all. Let's get gardening, guys. 